I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Jokes do not come naturally to me, not the way they do to others. If, if I try, it only makes things... awkward. Of course, you have given me an opportunity the others have not. Perhaps I just need more time. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Thank you. That is reassuring. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Indeed it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way, but that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. 
This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. That is in its own, before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken. The possibilities it holds. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. There is no struggle to survive here. No great risk in daily life. I'm sure you have seen for yourself that is not the case for much of the settled systems. Hostile environments, dangerous creatures, not to mention the threats posed by other humans. None of that touches these people. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. It has certainly proven valuable. It saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. If you are free soon, could we talk? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You agreed with me that true purpose can be a driving force in life. I found that comforting. But something has been nagging at me since. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. That there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Doubts have never been... something I would consider. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. 
That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. I have things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. I have something I wanted to say, but I confess I am afraid of how you will react. I am reluctant to put that to the test, but it is necessary that we are honest with each other. I know that you said you prefer to be surrounded by others, unlike me. But Constellation means something to us both. And I must be honest about why. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out, until now, is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. You have not heard the name? I am surprised. Generations ago, our founder, Jinan Varun, he... he had an experience while grab jumping. He made contact with an immortal being beyond time and space, beyond our universe. The Great Serpent told Jinan Varun that our universe is his dominion. And while he has been away for millennia, he will return soon. And when he does, we must be prepared. My people have worked to that end for many years now, and it has caused conflict with the rest of the settled systems. They have retreated from open relations with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective, but they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krejar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the Great Serpent and his inevitable return. I appreciate that, but it is still important that you know. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. Yes, well, you were not the only one. 
Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. Quite an understatement. I was horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council, and the penalty would be severe. The history of Constellation, where expeditions are sent, data on star systems House Barun has not explored, some information on their members and goals. As you have seen, there is relatively little that would be considered classified. They do not. I have, for now, kept that information to myself. You and I have spent so much time together. It has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. I know. I understand that this may change what you think of me. I know that you may no longer wish to associate with me. I believe that in this moment, honesty is more important than anything. No matter what happens next, I have appreciated the time with you, and I thank you for trusting me. a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. It describes the people of House Varun. We who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Yes, very. It... It was not what I was expecting. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It was in ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. 
And in the years since, I have never looked for them. No. I told myself it's because I never had the time, but in truth, I was scared of what I'd find. Ten years. I was immediately reassigned to another role, light years away. No, maybe. I, I don't know. It all happened so fast, and I've had so much time since then to replay it in my head. Wonder if I should have done things differently. In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. A little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone. To be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. I am not sure I will find any comfort in it, but I think it is important nonetheless. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. A pleasure. Of course. What would you like to know? House Varun is in a distant corner of space, far away from the rest of the settled systems. While this serves our interests, it can also pose challenges. Many critical resources are scarce, and diplomatic relations with the United Colonies and Freestar Collective were tense at the best of times. It was the most practical way to acquire what we need, without raising too many questions. It still is. I do not know, not for sure. I did not see them fall that day, and I suppose I have hoped they survived. I admit, I have not investigated before now, at least in part because of what I feared I might learn. He is a quiet man, reserved. I believe he had lived through a great many hardships, though he never spoke of them. I never felt it proper to ask. He valued his personal space and quiet moments. It was one thing we always shared in common. Years ago, I had heard he was alive, but did not attempt to contact him. I did not feel it was right. I hope this is not a mistake. Then we should return to our task. I will watch your back. Expansion must be very difficult for Aquila, with the native wildlife being what it is. Yes, Aggies. I have spent... He is not here. I am disappointed, but 
relieved somehow? The whole world is out there. You stay. Mm, no. This is the only place he would be. I know him well enough to know that. Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Okay. Hello. I'm busy. Leave me alone. You. You ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. I don't know. You tell me. You're the one blundering in here with her in tow, asking questions. I heard you ain't deaf. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? Now, after all this time, you could have dropped in any time in, oh, the last nine years or so. Maybe that wouldn't have been too convenient for you, though. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. If either of you cared, you wouldn't just be showing up now. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he flame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help? I should kill you where you stand. You are right. We should focus on finding him. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. It is a good day, yes? We have something to go on, at least. I am grateful that you showed some compassion, despite that woman's attitude. I do not have your patience. <laughs> Don't go believing everything you hear about me, Nash. Most of it, sure, but maybe not that much. And yet it is my past we are trying to clear up. That is... It really means a lot. It means a lot. Me this chance. I'm eager Thank to reach Hyla too, well, and speak to Aaron. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him, provide him a sense of safety. Another time.
comes in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I thought I saw something. I need to be sure.
don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Oh, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong. I am sure of it. This cannot all be for... for nothing. You found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. For anyone else, I would say the chances of survival are slim. But for Jada... <laughs> she is alive and on a mission. I would bet my life on it. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement, how she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge. But to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I've discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the Zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. Clearly, he had become paranoid, but that does not mean he was wrong. What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Yes, I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tommy Sar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. Perhaps. He could have reached out directly, but that would be a surprising breach of protocol. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. Hello. Here. 
I am satisfied to find see her. that you survived your she most recent still sleep alive. cycle. I know it. I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. I am, hands down, the best pilot in this dump. Don't let anyone tell you different. Jada? I'm not really supposed to be giving out that kind of information. But hey, you did me a favor with that whole commendation thing. So, I saw Jada with Reyna. Something about zealots in the Groombridge system, and how she was going after them no matter what. She was really wound up about it. Sounded urgent and pretty serious. Hey, you didn't hear this from me, okay? Okay, then. You are a welcome diversion. What do you need? Of course. What would you like to know? It is relatively well trafficked, but there are fewer prying eyes than some other locations. The UC Vanguard has operated out of the den for some time, but they are poorly staffed and supplied. It can be a good handoff point for smugglers. I understand he has connections within the High Council. I do not know much more about him. It was never my job to know. As I have said, he is the one who has given me assignments. He sent me to hire smugglers like Aaron and Jada, and coordinate transport missions for them. He would have known their names, but... I cannot imagine that he would ever contact them directly. Very good. Unidentified ship. You are not authorized to be here. State your business. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? I was setting up an ambush, but odds are that you've blown it. And my question still stands. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. She... you... you show up here now of all times? Oh, shit. I've got multiple ships inbound. Too late to run. Sure hope you're prepared for a fight. Scratch the paint. Italy or 
are there other matters that require your attention? How? How can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... if this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up, killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? Yeah? While we're talking, how do you think that's going so far? What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Worried? Worried she hadn't finished me off, maybe. I knew it was only a matter of time. What are you talking about? I have never acted against you. You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <sighs> told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! Because we were a loose end! We knew things, locations, names. They never trusted us. We were just a mess that needed cleaning up. I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year! What do you know about it? Jada... I swear on the Serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we... go somewhere? and talk. I am not giving up on this. I tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. You think you've won, do you? That's him. That's the bastard responsible for the ambush. If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down. Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both. Get back to your ship. I smile today in the knowledge that the Great Serpent has truly blessed my ship and my crew. Why else would he have delivered unto me the strength of our curse? The awful that escaped our righteous justice. It is very troublesome. Betrayed the charge laid upon them by the Great Serpent.
really can't believe you thought you'd just show up. Just waltzing in here like nothing ever happened. Unbelievable. I... I do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. That is not an option. Even if we could reach them, you are a non-believer. You would be killed. Something about this does, does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. <sighs> I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. No, you do not understand. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Barun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home. Unless I am permitted. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home. But I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both. I need you to trust me. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. They were abandoned when peace was brokered. They are an excellent place to hide in plain sight. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. This is the only place I can get answers. The only connection I have to House Barun. Please give me a moment.
am not the one who needs to explain himself, Commissar. I am surprised by you. It has got to be deep. This is very unlike you. Almost insubordinate. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I sent you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friends, who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tomisar. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. Insolence! You have corrupted her! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough! Talk some sense into her at once! Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me! Against House Varun! I have already said this is a misunderstanding! No, no! If you let Andreja hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council. To House Varun! Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But... He deserves it. Does he not? I do not know. Maybe. Maybe if the High Council sees what he has done. Fine. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over! The High Council will hear of your treason! Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tomisar. Think on that. Come. Let us leave this place. I wish to return to the lodge. You will regret this! How can I assist? May you find favor in all things. You think you will leave here unharmed? There will be consequences for your actions here. I assure you. A pleasure. Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Barun. This room... May now be the only place I have left to call home. Yes. <laughs> I know that I am not completely alone. And that offers some comfort, but it is more complicated than that. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Barun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? I am unsure it is that simple. But you are right. I do have people here who care about me. 
Chief among them, it seems, is you. You have been by my side through all of this. The most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me. Faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. <laughs> I have never had a best friend, but I believe that sounds right. So if we are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you in the way that you have for me. How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? And just what is on your mind at this moment? I have never been able to truly count on someone, no matter what. I'm still getting used to it. I would certainly hope so, or I might feel quite foolish right now. I am here if you need me. Yes, you need something? I shall do as you ask. But you take me with you no matter what. <laughs>